I became interested in the martial arts just like most people. Um, I watched films with Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan um, and immediately it, it struck my fancy. Um, but by middle school I had already been in karate and taekwondo and um, neither of these really had any connection with me uh, until I came across a, um, a kung fu school here locally and um, from then on I was, I was very serious in the study of martial arts. I believe people should be informed about self-defense from the age that they are able to distinguish stranger from family. You know, it's, it's hard to say exactly what age is appropriate to, to teach a child anything, um, but I'd say between the ages of you know, five and six years old, uh, based on maturity and attention span, um, a child should be taught the basics and what to do if you know, a stranger offers them something or um, offers them a ride in, the, in a car, for example. Being skilled in the martial arts helps in several ways. Number one, uh, your knowledge base is much more broad. Uh, two, your attention span or your focus um, is much more acute. And um, three, your movement is so much better. Um, people that study the martial arts have a really uh, deep understanding of their body, at least most of them do, uh, compared to some of the other um, athletics that you can uh, participate in. Um, also, it, it's a big myth that you know martial arts is the same as self-defense. Um, I believe that it should be separated from the different systems of martial arts. The underlining message to self-defense is to escape and survive. If I have to resort in biting somebody in order to escape from his or her uh, grasp, um, then that's exactly what I'm going to do. And if I do it and I get the result that I'm looking for, well, you know, it worked, and that's self-defense. My knowledge of multiple self-defense systems gives me more exercises, more um, movements, and more theories to pull from. Um, the training method is actually the most important aspect of learning self-defense. We are going to react in the same way as we train. Um, so one thing that we need to incorporate in our training is that we, uh, we train on getting into a different state, a different state of mind, um, more focused and determined in, in the actions that we are doing and that we really train towards the result that we're trying to get. I teach men and women in very similar but different ways. Um, for one, women have a fear of that closeness that an attacker will have with his victims. Um, they're also afraid of pain and of the possibility of being injured or killed. Um, men are a little bit different because they grow up in a background where they may have played football, they may have boxed, wrestled, all of this stuff um, carries with it the threat of injury and pain, um, but men are less scared of actually having that, that closeness and that physical encounter, so they're able to deal with the fear response a little bit better than, than women are. Um, but one thing that I, I teach women um, is I really kind of go into the, the greater aspect of, of fighting in close, getting a little bit familiar with that range of combat, um, showing them exactly how to move somebody um, and create the space that they want so that they can escape. With men it's a little bit different. I focus more on kind of like the effectiveness, building speed and power, um, and being able to use somebody's body very efficiently. The only way that we can even come close to ensuring anything is to have it a part of your life. Um, as a self-defense coach and instructor, I mean, I'm constantly writing about self-defense. I'm um, either you know preparing or giving a lecture or workshop on self-defense, and I'm and I'm actually even meditating on certain scenarios that can happen to me or possibly will happen to me in my lifetime. So I'm, I'm constantly training myself to be ready at a moment's notice. 
Um, also, to be fit and healthy, um, you know, the advantages are obvious, and it really is important in self-defense for you to be uh, fit and healthy. So, in order to, to do that, we have to, you know, introduce exercise into our lifestyle. Um, and I always encourage and, and uh, teach my students several self-defense exercises that they can implement into their exercise regime. So, that's very important. Well, the answer to that question is an obvious yes. Um, when, first off, we have to remember that learning self-defense, the idea is to escape. Escape and find help. Um, I will do anything in my power to ensure my escape, but I have to train um, both my body and mind, underlining mind, so that I'm able to keep my wits about me when that situation um, comes into play. It, it can be. Um, I, encourage, I encourage fitness and um, exercises like you know, kickboxing and Zumba are great for you know, increasing your cardiovascular health, um, your you know, flexibility and speed and, and all of that stuff. Um, but you know, self-defense is something different and I believe that in order to truly learn self-defense in the proper way you've got to be able to separate that um, but, you know, but use it in conjunction with the other activities that you love. As far as the age group, I don't think I know that the ages are between 19 years old and 35 years old. Um, one of the big myths, and um, I mentioned this in, in, in the book, is that um, being attacked has very little to do with uh, the way you look or your sexuality and it has more to do with being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, a younger student is going to have uh, more hours where they're staying up late at nights, they're going to you know, college parties, um, occasionally um, alcohol is involved or other drugs and all of this opens the window for you know, more violent activities to occur. Absolutely. Um, the book, The Golden Thread, was actually um, not necessarily inspired, but it was. It really lit a fire under me to to actually finish the book because these were were two girls that were killed, um, actually within several days of one another in uh, March of two thousand and eight. Um, Eve Carson. Um, was I believe the student class president at uh, UNC Chapel Hill. Lauren Burke was a freshman at Auburn University and um, you know I don't know for certain whether learning self-defense would have would have um, stopped that scenario from from actually happening however it really did kind of reinforce um, the importance um, at that time that I felt that you know self-defense needed to be promoted especially towards women and in writing the book I've always felt that the women that come out of you know my different lectures and workshops need something you know concise and practical that they can read reread and kind of re um, reinforce their their understanding of what, what had been taught